Now, city leaders in Hartford are working to crack down on crime. So far this year, there have been 28 killings in the capital city, but homicide isn't the only issue police want to address. So let's get straight over to Channel 3 Eyewitness News reporter Marcy Jones, who joins us now live from police headquarters in Hartford. Good morning, Marcy. City leaders addressed this in a meeting last night. That's correct. Good morning, Kate. Well, also joining the conversation, we had police as well as advocates really trying to get in there and all come up together with a comprehensive plan to curb crime. Now, compared to this time last year, the city of Hartford has seen three more homicides. Other types of crimes has seen an uptick as well. Police made it clear this is a community effort and they're open to suggestions. In fact, the president of the Greater Hartford NAACP brought up having more integration between officers and residents, also known as walking beats. Another key focus is to address lost or stolen guns and how to hold owners accountable that don't report them as lost or stolen. This discussion comes after a six-year-old little boy from Hartford accidentally shot himself in the hand after finding a gun near his home on Martin Street. Thankfully, the boy is expected to be okay and police are working to find the owner of that gun. But in the meantime, the community is eager for change. There's been a couple of nights where we walked at night and we've been safe. So I don't think what we've seen online where people are saying that, you know, it's not safe or whatever. So we try to avoid like the areas that they say. Crime comes from poverty. So if we're not closing those gaps in poverty, it's going to be a continuation of that. Another issue, police say most of the guns used in crimes in Hartford are actually coming from other states, so that's another issue that they want to address. They haven't really rolled out an exact plan with exact details. That, they say, will be coming in a meeting in the near future. Reporting live in Hartford, Marcy Jones, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.